Uh, good morning, Adam from Greenpeace. Uh, many thanks for the chance to speak this morning. Um, I would like to uh, address briefly the issue of market neutrality. Uh, and this ties in uh, very well, in fact, with the comments made uh, by President Lagarde in her introduction. The climate crisis is the, the biggest market failure the world has ever seen. Sir Nicholas Stern pointed that out already uh, 15 years ago. Um, and that's the case because markets don't price climate risk in and they over allocate capital to industries that are driving the climate emergency. And as such, mirroring these markets essentially means reproducing this market failure. Um, I'd like to point out just yesterday, we, we published a report together with the New Economics Foundation and a number of universities where we highlighted the huge carbon bias that the market neutrality principle causes in the ECB's purchases of corporate bonds, sectors, in fact, that contribute very little to either jobs or economic output in, in uh, comparison to their representation um, in markets and indeed in ECB uh, bond purchases. Um, and I think, in fact, it's abundantly clear that pursuing market neutrality in the long run is going to make it impossible to achieve the secondary mandates, which uh, President Lagarde referred to, but also the, the primary mandate. Um, and as such, from our point of view, it's imperative that the ECB abandons this principle. And in fact, above and beyond that, aligns all aspects of monetary policy, the collateral framework, and prudential regulation with the fight against the climate crisis. Now, my question goes primarily to, to Mr. Lane. Um, I think both Madame Lagarde and also Isabel Schnabel have uh, called into question the principle of market neutrality. In fact, Isabel Schnabel went a step further and talked about the possibility of excluding certain bonds. Briefly now, I would like to ask Mr. Lane if he agrees with that. Thank you very much.